Hi, I'm Mary, a librarian turned book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today, I get to share with you this book called Kodiak and the Unhunted Place. It's written by Ryan Petty and illustrated by Vera Kulikov. This is the story of an Alaskan Malamute who is named Kodiak. He goes by Cody for short. He's a little bit different from the Malamutes that you might meet. He is cross-eyed, so he sees a little bit differently than everyone else. He sees two of the things that he's looking at. So in order to figure out what thing is the real thing, he has figured out that he can place his face on the ground so one eye closes and he can see which one of the things he sees is the real one. Now, a lot of animals see this behavior as being somewhat submissive and they think that Kodiak is not as brave as he might actually be. But he lives in this really beautiful backyard with chipmunks and rabbits and squirrels and he loves all the creatures back there. And while those creatures might naturally be afraid of him, they have no reason to be. He's got all the food that he needs from his human family and he just feels like he protects them. Now outside of his backyard is the coyote. Mr. Coyote loves this backyard and he is interested in all the creatures living there. So he's trying to figure out a way to get in at a time when Cody is not there. So the two of them get into a little bit of a challenge with one another and it's up to Cody when Mr. Coyote does get a little too close to, for comfort to step in and protect the space that he loves so much. And in so doing, he earns his full name. This story is really well written for middle grade readers. It is, it seems hefty on the outset. It's kind of a thick book, but as you open it up, you'll see that it's written in free verse. So there's a lot of white space, short lines, and each of these phrases, occasionally they rhyme, but for the most part, they do not. So as you're reading it, you get to know the story in like little little snippets. And I, I love looking at this kind of story because even though it seems like it's a lot easier to write or a lot easier to read, it's actually a lot deeper and harder to do because you're trying to tell a story in a lot fewer words. So you have to choose those words really carefully. So this is really nice for middle grade readers because of that, especially ones who may be a little bit um, more reluctant readers or newer readers, um, especially ones that like animals. And there are occasional illustrations in here. They are computer rendered black and white illustrations that bring the story out a little bit more than just the text alone. So as young readers are getting into the story, they have ways to engage with it. If they're not super comfortable with the verse writing, um, the illustrations really help them out. So this story reads very quickly. It's a really sweet story about a dog who protects his land um, and the bravery that he shows in doing so. It is based on a real life dog, the dog of the author himself. Um, and it's a really sweet homage to him and the connection that the family obviously has with this animal. So if you or your reader is into this kind of story, loves reading about animals and the free verse, it's great for middle grade readers, but also older readers as well, and even if you're reading to younger ones too. So if this sounds like a great fit for you, I hope you look for it at your favorite bookstore.